After games in Cincinnati and St. Louis, we're switching leagues and headed to Kansas City. All right, we're sitting here in a Walmart parking parking lot in Columbia, Missouri, waiting for my mom to try on some uh, shorts and buy a couple pairs. And right now we're looking at a map, plotting our next move. So where are we headed there, Tim? Right now we're on our way to Kansas City. Where's that on the map? It's uh, somewhere right in here. Yeah. And I think here, here's Kansas City, and then sometime we're going to take a drive over to Topeka, just to just to add another state and to see what's in Kansas. We're debating whether we should go from Topeka and grow up here. It's about maybe another 60, 70 miles from Topeka to Nebraska, just to ca catch this corner of Nebraska and add another state and see what's up there, and then come back down to Kansas City. The stadium for the baseball game is over in this part of Kansas City. And we're like right almost in the border for our hotel in uh, downtown Kansas City. Okay? Yep. Who's, when's the game, Tim? The game is tomorrow night at 7.10, weather permitting. It's, according to the Yaki Weather forecast, it's going to be uh, nice and sunny. It was, and it's light, nice and sunny right now if you look outside. But on the way over here, what did we get? <laughs> A little bit of a downpour. A lot of rain, huh? I mean, yeah. there was times on the freeway when it was hard to see with all the water coming down. But anyway, it's nice and sunny here in the middle of Missouri right now. Even though the weather says we're supposed to be getting a lot of thunderstorms today. But right now it's good. And we're lucky because 200 miles south of here in uh, Oklahoma, they've got a lot of tornadoes that did a lot of damage. But we're cool right now. We leave the pretty city of Columbia and continue on to Kansas City. It's not long before downtown comes into view. This time our hotel is a residence in by Marriott, near downtown on top of Union Hill. It's a big room but several problems such as a flooding bathroom, no air conditioning, a large and loud rock concert next door, and more will force us to check out early in two days. After checking in, we walk a couple of blocks to Gates Barbecue, a Kansas City landmark. We try to have a full rack of ribs and a burnt-in sandwich, but end up taking most of it home. It was very delicious. Tim's having some rib here from Gates. What do you think, Tim? What's, how's the rib taste? Pretty darn good. Yeah. And the other thing we're having here is called burnt ends. And, a bun. and it's all in the beans over there. It's all very, very delicious. In the morning, we drive down to the riverfront and visit the city market. Farmers bring in their produce, and shops line the perimeter. We buy a cinnamon roll and a breakfast sandwich from one of the vendors. It starts to rain, so we stick to the covered corridors. As meats heat up on the grill, vendors sell fresh produce just outside. Having some time to kill during the day, we head east to Independence. This town is famous for two things. Joseph Smith brought the Mormons here and had a vision that Jesus would return to earth here. There is an empty lot where this is supposed to happen and a large shrine across the street. The other thing is that this is where President Harry S. Truman lived with his wife, Bess. We have some ice cream in the soda fountain where young Harry had his first job.
A few blocks away on this humble little street is his house. The house is temporarily closed to visitors due to a renovation. We drive on a little more to visit the Truman Presidential Library and Museum. In the courtyard just past the Eternal Flame is President Truman's grave. He is buried under this stone next to his wife, Bess. Across the path are the graves of their daughter and her husband. After he left office, Mr. Truman worked nearly every day in this office at the library. He often walked to work. There is also a replica of the White House Oval Office as it was during his presidency. Outside is a famous plaque reading, The Buck Stops Here. The library is very interesting and gives a glimpse of history during some very turbulent times. We head back to Kansas City to go to the game. Stay tuned as we visit the best stadium yet on this tour, Kauffman Stadium, home of the Royals. This is Tim Music for the World on Wheels.